It's built in. It's completely innate, this desire and wish to be of benefit. So let everything rage <laughs> because it just really is your beneficial power. It is your potency. No longer do we need to uh, dampen down our power or neutralize our power by indulging, replacing or avoiding our data, thoughts, emotions, sensations and experiences. We can simply allow them to be exactly as they are. It doesn't matter how long we've been with balanced view, things will still come up. Data, data, they are countless, they are ceaseless and they are unpredictable. <laughs> and no way are they going to stop because they really are our potency, they really are our power. It's not to disregard data, all our thoughts and our emotions, but to really use that beneficial energy to, to be of benefit. To feel everything so fully, so intimately, to feel so completely human, <coughs> alive and aligned with reality in every moment. That's really what we're, we're becoming uh, familiar with, really being aligned with reality, settling into our, our power. No matter what is going on, no matter the appearance in the very moment, we just allow it to be as it is. Short moments. One short moment at a time. And we repeat these short moments until they naturally become obvious. Open intelligence just becomes more and more obvious. It's always on. We just become, we just start to recognize that through short moments again and again. Ah, oh, it's on. Oh, yeah. Open intelligence is right there. It doesn't matter whether I'm feeling angry or in complete pain. That power to know is always on. The data and open intelligence or that power to know are completely inseparable. So m no matter what is coming up, it is the, the expression of open intelligence of that power to know. And all is well in every moment. And we really are empowering ourselves through these short moments in the support of the Four Mainstays. Empowering ourselves to see that we can live a different way in a culture of gratitude and respect. Completely honoring ourselves as we are, the perfect, sublimely brilliant beings that we are. So when we find ourselves going into old habits, just be completely gentle with yourself because we've, it's been ingrained the way we've uh, been relating just by learning from others in our life, society. It's been going on for generations. So really be kind to yourself. And it's just amazing that you already are aware of, of these habitual habits or patterns and that you really feel deeply that you, you want to make a change, that you want to harmonize the relationship within yourself and you want to harmonize all relationships in your life. That, uh, that awareness, that desire to really be of benefit is so precious and powerful. Because in the very moment when you notice that, oh, maybe I shouldn't have said that, or maybe I, I could have uh, related in a different way, rest there in your power of great benefit. And you can just simply see if something needs to be amended. If there's anything that, that you can do. And if not, that's so fine. Resting is really the key. It really is the solution to all problems, one short moment at a time. And naturally you'll start catching yourselves when going in that direction that may seem or that is um, unbeneficial. And then you just rest and see, okay, what will be of most benefit here? 
So it's a very natural and organic unfolding, and that's just what I saw in my own life. I really had to be so gentle on myself. And it's such a blessing because I was extremely hard on myself. Since so young, I was really hard on myself. I really did beat myself up to a pulp. I was my worst enemy. So now, what a relief to feel angry. <laughs> feel whatever is coming up. Nothing is wrong. In no way are you flawed because you're feeling anger or hatred or irritation or whatever is, is appearing for you. That simply is this wish to be of benefit. How can I be of benefit? I am tired of, of the way that things are going and I want to make a change. I really want to be of benefit to myself and others, and I want to use my potency to do that. I want to rely on open intelligence. I want to empower myself. And so I feel for myself, there's this incredible energy that's just waiting or yeah, just this feel to be of benefit. Where can I put this energy to be of benefit? And it can be in expressed in various <coughs> ways. But anger is really a, really a good one because we feel that power. We feel that fire. And that's really the, the fire of benefit. You know, we can really rest there and see how can I use this, this energy to really serve and devote that to the benefit of all because our example is so powerful when we don't act from from the data of being angry or whatever it may be but we really act from that potency when we see clearly how can I use this to be of benefit how can I share my own experience how can I take full responsibility how can I I choose to no longer be a victim to my data. You know, that anger really does connect you with every single person. So we don't need to get rid of that anger. We just use that beneficial energy to be of benefit. So for me, I... I uh, I'm so grateful for that instruction, short moments, with the support of the Four Mainstays. No longer do I need to fix myself or change myself or be some, something else, someone else, have different experiences, but really use everything that I am for the benefit of all. And the support here is... Um, Nowhere else have I seen this incredible support structure. Taking short moments whenever we naturally to remember to do so, coming to open meetings, clarity calls, um, reading the incredible texts and the books. And, and if you feel very overwhelmed, copy out some text. It is so powerful beyond trying to understand it. Just that is like taking a short moment. Copy out some text, <coughs> listen to a download, <coughs> email your trainer. If you have a trainer, if you've done the, the 12 empowerments, you'll be given a, a trainer, the trainer that you may have done the empowerments with. And um, it's just someone there that completely empowers you and sees your, your beneficial potency and wants to fully um, guide you and support you in this complete empowerment. So just to be so open with them and share what's going on and, and offer a solution or a suggestion and you're completely supported. And then being with community, you know, everybody experiencing everything at one point or another and can really share from their direct experience how they took the support of the Four Mainstays and how they've been so empowered. 
tremendous benefit unfolding moment by moment in my life. And I see that unfolding in everybody else's life. Just by seeing you come here and shine, completely shine, no matter what is going on. There is just this beaming brightness in your eyes. That's who we are, this beaming brightness, open intelligence. No longer limited by our data, by our ideas and these belief systems, but really rely on your direct experience and recognize the benefits, even if this is your first meeting or your first short moment, just feeling that relaxation for that moment and seeing that all is completely well.